Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to our virtual class. By the way, I'm Jamalia De Enero and I'm your MAPI teacher this morning. Our topic this morning class is all about media-based arts and design in the Philippines photography. Objectives. Identifies art elements in the various media-based arts in the Philippines. Describes the characteristics of media-based arts and design in the Philippines. Creates artworks that can be assembled with local materials. Modern techniques and trends in photography, film, print media, digital media, and product and industrial design will be explored, most notably the talent creativity and quality workmanship of Filipino artists and designers in all these fields will be recognized and celebrated. Not only have this brought Philippine artistry to the world's attention, but they have opened up an entire range of opportunities for young Filipinos to develop and apply these talents and earn a living while doing so. Technological advance continue to be a major driving force in the directions that each of these art forms has taken. Among the results have been exciting innovations in materials manipulation, coloring and embellishment techniques, and creation and production processes applied to all today's media, whether physical and tangible or virtual in cyberspace. Photography In its early stage during the late 19th century, photography was viewed as a purely technical process that are recording visible image by light action on light sensitive materials. In fact, its very name from the Greek photos meaning light and grapos meaning writing states this process literally. In comparison to the highly regarded arts of painting and sculpture, then photography was not immediately considered art. But it was not long before the artistry of 20th century photographers elevated this light writing to an aesthetic form in its own right. Whether left untouched from the instant the image was captured or was digitally or manually altered, the resulting photographs can be startlingly impactful. It becomes clear how the photographer has captured the elements of forms, color, light and shadow, textures and compositions to create a true work of art. Photography as communication. Being a modern art form means that photography is now viewed as being more, more than just beautiful. It is also considered one of the most powerful means of communication. Next to the printed word, the photographic image is today's most important means of conveying information and ideas, expressing emotions, even championing causes. This power comes from two distinctive characteristics of photography, immediacy and detail. An image recorded by a camera has a sense of authenticity because the lens captures the image objectively the resulting photograph is regarded as true to life and a moment at the same time the camera takes in every detail of an image thus the photograph that photograph has sense of completeness for these reasons photographs are vital tools in communication fields such as journalism advertising education and even in courts of law they have also been used to eloquently speak out against social and political issues. Noteworthy Philippine photographers, the Philippines has joined the rest of the world in applying the wonders of modern photogra photography to every aspect of life, from personal to professional to national to global. And with our country's natural beauty, a number of local photographers have taken on the Philippines and our people as a major focus of their lenses. George Tapan is an award-winning travel photographer who has won two Pacific Asia Tourism Association or PETE Gold Awards 
an Asian Tourism Association Award, and first place in the 2011 National Geographic Photo Contest. His highly acclaimed work has been published in five travel photography books. This is the examples of uh, photos of George Stapan. John Kichua is best known as an advertising and commercial photographer with over 40 years of experience in this field and numerous local and international awards for his work. At the same time, he has applied his photo arti artistry to showcasing the beauty of the Philippines. So, uh, this is the example of John Chua photos. Film, another art form which has risen to tremendous heights within the last century in film or cinema. As its early name, motion pictures declared, film brought yet another dimensions into play, that of moving image. The possibilities of this medium created a new art form that was to become a powerful social and economic force and a legacy of the 20th century to the world. A technology-driven art cinema, just as all modern arts, has been greatly influenced by technology. In the case of cinema, however, it is an art form that came into being because of technological advances. The transitions from steel photography came in the late 1800s with series photography and the inventions of celluloid stripe film. This allowed successive still photos of a, of a moving subject to be captured on the stripe of film adv advancing through a single camera. It was the seed of the highly advanced film medium we enjoy today. The need to view this moving image led to the rise of the kinescope, a peep show cabinet with an eye hole through which these earliest movies could be viewed one person at a time. A motor inside the cabinet moved the film stripes along in a loop with an electric bulb providing illumination from beneath. In the meantime, European and American inventors were providing one technological advancement after another. The French developed the cinematographer, a hand crank camera printed and projector all in one that was lightweight enough to bring outside the studio. By 1901, the earliest motion pictures were rapidly progressing from one scene, studio films to multiple scenes, narratives filmed film outdoors driven by this and many more advances the art aspects of filmmaking was born. So this is the example of their uh, cameras. Collaborative art of filmmaking. Filmmaking, because of its technical complexity, involves entire teams of artists, writers, and production experts, supported by technicians taking charge of the cameras, lighting equipment, seats, props, costumes, and the like, all under the supervision of the film director. Film directing is it is the director like the painter and sculptor in traditional art who envisions the final effect of the film on its viewers, visually, mentally, and emotionally. While the painter and sculptor will work with physical materials, the film director works with ideas, image, sounds, and other effects to create this unique piece of art. He or she conceptualizes the scene. Scenes director direct the acting, supervises the cinematography, and finally the editing and sound bubbling in much the same way as a virtual artist compo composes an artwork clearly. However, the director does not do all this alone. Through the years, the complexity of filmmaking gave rise to numerous allied arts that did not previously exist. Acting, first and foremost, there was the arts of acting for film, 
with line theater as the only form of acting at that time film actors had to learn to express themselves without the exaggerated facial express expressions and gestures used on stage with the addition of sound in the 1930s they had to learn to live to, del to deliver their lines but naturally and believably cinematography behind the scenes there was cinematography or the art of film camera work this capture the director's vision of each scene through cameras placement and movement lighting and other special techniques editing this was joined by film editing the art of selected the pri precise sections or of film then sequencing and joining them to achieve the director's desire visual and emotional effect sound editing was also developed as film began to include more ambitious effects beyond the dialogue and background music production set design Underlying all this was the art of pro production and set design. This recreated in physical terms through vocal, scenery, set, light, lightning, uh, lighting, costumes, and props. The material image that the director had of how each scene should look, what people it should depict, and what atmosphere it should convey. This included creating world that this that did not exist as well as world that were belong were long gone de designing each production component down to the very last details. Film genres The public response to motion pictures was immediate and enthusiastic from makeshift Nickelodeon's or movie theaters charging a nickel for, ent for entrance. In, in, in 1904, to luxurious Dream Palace for middle class movie by 1914. Public showing of movies were a big hit with World One over an establishment of Hollywood as the center of American filmmaking in 1915. The movie industry was on its way to becoming one of the biggest and most influential of the century with financial success came the rush to release more and more films in an ever wider variety leading to the ma to many film genres we know today. First, there were the silent films starring Charlie Chaplin and the slapstick comedy films of Buster Keaton and later Raul Laurel and Hardy. With sound still and available, these films relied on purely visual comedy that audience found hilarious. Then there emerged the gangster movie genres as well as horror and fantasy films that took advantage of the sound technology that was newly available at that time. Sound plus color then allowed for further development of um, animated future films as well as what became the major American genre of the 1930s, the movie musical. Here, the spectacle of theater productions was brought to the movie screen, incorporating singing, dancing, and elaborate production numbers enhanced by emerging film techniques. Further developments in cine cinematic and sound technology led to even more generous war and disaster films, westerns, or cowboy movies thrillers or suspense films, historical or biological films, film epics and film adaptations of literary classics. In a similar way, the tremendous advance in computer technology in recent decades have fueled and raised of 
futuristic or science fiction films as well as special effects movies featuring live actors animated characters or live actors and animated characters together documentary films and non-fiction genres were made using real life footage as well as file materials in many cases to present an issue finally a special genre known as art films or indie or independent films caters to a small group of, of viewers and critics consciously concerned with the artistic merits of a motion picture. Philippine filmmakers. In the Philippine film scene, the American influence was evident in the pre-World War II and liberation years with song and dance, musicals, romantic dramas, and comedy film, films. Beginning with the turbulent 1970s, however, progressive Filipino directors emerged to make movies dealing with current social issues and examining the Filipino character. Among them were Lino Broca of Tinimbang na Tinimbang Kangunit Kulang, 1974, Manila sa mga kuko ng liwanag, 1975, Mikey De Leon. Itim, 1976, Sister Stella L, 19, 1984, Bayaning Third World, 1999, Ismael Bernal, Himala, and Plata Mata, 1983. So this is the uh, composer, is Ismael Bernal. So... There are female directors who have likewise made their mark in Philippine cinema. Among them are L Loris Gillen and Marilo Diaz Abaya. Loris Gillen's Salome, 1981, earned international acclaim at the Toronto International Film Festival. Her more recent films such as Tanging Yaman, 2001, which won Best Pictures in the Metro Manila Film Festival, American Adobo, 2002, Santa Santita, 2004, and Sayo Lamang, 2010, all gained her recognitions among the current generations of Filipino Mobigur. So this is the example of their cinema. Marilo Diaz Abaya captured the attentions and respect of the viewing public with powerful films such as Jose Rizal, 1998, perfectly timed for the cent centennial celebration of Philippine independence, Moro Ami, 1999, which bravely exposed the deadly practice of using child divers to pound for fish and Philippine coral reefs and Bagong Buwan, 2001, which dealt with the Human, human cause of the Muslim Christians conflict in Mindanao. So this is the example of their cinemas. Crossing over easily between project for televisions and for the big screen is veteran film director Mario G. De Los Reyes. The heartwarming drama film Mag Magnifico won for him the best director distinctions of the 2003 PAMAS Awards and garnered other local and international film awards as well. Lilos Reyes continues to be active in both film and television media, having become known for well-loved well teleseries or television drama series. Another Filipino film director who has brought the country to the cinema world's attention is Brillante Mendoza. Mendoza was originally a production designer for films, commercials, and music videos and started direct, directing film in 2005, but in just four years, his film Kinatay, the ex execution of P, won for him the Best Director Award at the highly prestigious Cannes Film Festival of 2000. So, 
Animation. The Animation Council of the Philippines Incorporated or ECPI is a non-stock non-profit organization that aims to create an identity for the Philippines within the animation industry, making it one of the prepared sources for animation services worldwide. The organization works hand to in hand with participating colleges and universities, the Technical Education and Skill Development Authority, TESDA, and other government agencies and local government units to develop animations as a pro-missing career options for Filipinos. In 2013, TESDA and ECPI began oper offering 2D and 3D animations scholarships to interested high school graduates between the age of 18 and 45. The showpiece of the ACPI in is Animahination, an annual festival and competition featuring the works of Filipino animators. Apart from the, this major project, the ACPI grant the annual Outstanding Emerging Artist in Animation Award for Outstanding Young and Past Rising Cartoonists and Animators in the Country. It also confers the Anima Nation Lifetime Achieve Achievement Award on notable animators and other contributors to the Philippine animation and industry. The Philippine Animation Studio Incorporated or PASI was established in 1991 and has since co collaborated on numerous animation projects and series with foreign partners. Among these have been Captain Flamingo, Producting Parker, Parker, Grove High and Space Heroes University, Universe. For this last cartoon, PASI was stopped by a children's entertainment company based in Sydney, Australia, and went to win the Best Animation category in the 2012 Pixel Award. Among the other exciting milestones in the past emerging Pilip Philippine animation industries was the creation in 2008 of Ordoha, an animated film adaptation of The Legend of the Warrior Princess of Pangasinan. Produced by EPT Entertainment, Seven Tune, and Imaginary Friends, Orduha is recognized as the first fully an animated Filipino film created by an all Filipino group of animators using the traditional hand drawn animation process with some 3D effects. The characters were voiced by an all star cast of actors from Philippine cinema and television with a scre screenplay right written in Filipino. So this is the example. Okay, any clarification, suggestions about our topic this morning? So if none, thank you so much for listening. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel at www.guidef.com and don't forget to open your LCMS. Thank you.